Hello everyone, good morning, assalamu alaikum, namaste, satsriyakar. Just as I promise you guys, once I reach the goal of 200 subscribers, I'm going to post a new 2021 RPCS3 setup guide. Well, let's go with it. First step, as usual, is the required downloads. In this case, we are supposed to download two main files. One is the emulator and second is the PS3 firmware. In order to download the RPCS3 emulator, I've given the link in the description. We are going to the download segment. And in the download segment, I'm going to download the emulator from this link. And here we go. We have this file downloaded. And second file we are supposed to download is the PS3 firmware or BIOS. Here we have the latest link already given in the description. Let's download this file. And I'm going to download this file in my D partition. I would prefer downloading both the files into the partition other than Windows. So in case if there is a corruption of Windows, there won't be any loss of data. And the third file if needed is the extraction software. I have two recommendations, 7-zip software or the WinRAR. Easy to download, all you have to do is just download and set up and you guys are good to go. Now once we have both files downloaded, as you guys can see, now is the time to extract the emulator. Here we have the downloaded file. Just as I recommended 7-zip or WinRAR, I'm going to use the 7-zip here. Let's name the folder to be extracted as RPCS3. And here we go. In the folder, we have the emulator in the extracted form. After the extraction, now it's time for the second step. And that is we are going to open the RPCS3 file for the very first time. It is going to give us a privacy warning. Let's check the boxes and continue. The most important component of this simulator is firmware and that is what we are going to install. Here we go. As we previously downloaded the firmware file, we are going to open it. And there goes the installing latest PS3 firmware. It takes 30 seconds to 40 seconds and sometimes a minute to install. Totally depends upon the specifications of your computer. Once the firmware has installed, we are going to exit the emulator. And now is the time for the third step. We are going to reopen the RPCS3 file. As the firmware has already been installed, we are going to the configuration tab. First thing is to check for the CPU settings. We leave these settings as it is by default because every other game has its own settings. We are not going to disturb. We are going to leave Vulkan by default because for the last two years Vulkan is the default setting and OpenGL is the secondary one but in case if you guys face any issues with Vulkan you guys can set it to OpenGL. And uh, audio settings we are going to leave them as it is and we are going to close this and by default this simulator supports many of the market controllers for example it is supported with DualShock 3, DualShock 4 now it also supports DualSense 5 both Xbox 360 and Xbox One controllers are supported with this simulator in my case I am using a DualShock 4 as you guys can see it is already pre-configured so we don't need to actually configure the controllers most of the controllers are already configured we are going to save the settings and the next thing we need to see is the game patches for the simulator. We are going to give them a fresh download. As you guys can see most of the patches are available on RPCS3 server. And this option here is to show the games we own. We are going to apply and save the settings. The fourth step is about installing the video games and that can be done two ways. The first method is adding the games which you guys have dumped from your PS3 Blu-rays. Just simply add the folder 
of the dump game and it shows up in the game list and the second method is the game installation and that can be done by installing the packages when you have your PSN the package downloaded you just have to install the file like this it will take some time and the game will get installed in the directory of rpcs3 now the installation has completed as you guys can see this one is a disk dumped game and this one is a downloaded PSN game fifth step is the individual game configuration in this case I'm going to set a new configuration uh, let's go with these settings if I'm using Ryzen I'm going to lower the SPU thread priority for the GPU we are going to keep the renderer as Vulkan I can enhance to double the resolutions frame limit can be set to 60 actually I have provided many games and their individual settings in my YouTube videos you guys can review the videos and do your settings according to my videos in advanced we are going to keep this box tick relax z curl sings is going to help in case of call of duty 3 and v blank frequency is supposed to be at 120 hertz this is going to help a few bugs we save these settings and close it and now it's time for the sixth and the final step and that is we are going to launch the video game uh, in the very first run, it takes a few minutes to compile all the caches and shaders. It may take a few minutes, but in the later runs, it won't take much time. As you guys can see, the cache building and the shader building has started and this process is going on. Fast forward once the compilation is done, I'm going to show you guys the gameplay. Now once the primary cache building is done, you can maximize the gain. Here we go. If you guys like my video, please do subscribe to my channel, share my video, do highlight any deficiencies in the comment, stay connected with the channel. June 4, 1940. Nazi forces enter Paris. Within 10 days, they control the entire city. By June 13, 1940, the Parisians have evacuated. Nazis enforcing a curfew on its few remaining native inhabitants. The former city of light waits for the Allies to arrive and lift the shadow that Hey you! Uh, what's your name? Uh, Nichols, right? Come get your gun. I got five bucks says you can't hit four in a row. There you go. Four helmets in a row, you win five bucks. Keep watch for me. I'm gonna bag me a few of these. Oh, nice. There's smoke grenades in here, too. See if you can get one in that old barn there. You want to try <clears throat> cooking one off? <laughs> You're supposed to throw the grenade, <laughs> not the pin. You got a good arm, Nichols. Come on, Nichols. Let's see you use a smoke grenade. <laughs> Nice one, Nichols. Damn, Dixon's looking right at us. All right, 
Nichols, you're all out of the chair. Hey, Dix! This one's a born natural! Well, that sure showed them. Guys, there's Nazis wearing helmets, too. What do you say we go find them? Gather up weapons and ammo and get on that truck. Move! Nickel, grab the Thompson from that crate in the supply tent. You're gonna need it where we're going. You may have to bash the crate open with your rifle. The supply sergeant likes to nail everything shut. All right, everyone on the truck, let's go. Hey, Nichols, get on the darn truck. to me dead. Rule two. Uh, what difference does it make? You'll all probably end up dead anyway. Well, that was sure inspiring. You want inspiration, Huxley? Read a poem. Sarge is ten times the soldier you'll ever be. Okay, listen up. Today, we're on a secret mission to get coffee and donuts. Problem is, the Germans drank all the coffee and ate all the donuts. So now, we gotta go kick their asses. Or we can...